the my journey started when I was almost class seven. Okay. I started taking drugs from okay. there. We used to okay. roll these popo leaves. Uh, popo leaves, yeah. And eh? smoke them. Okay. Uh, as weeds, uh, as like weeds, eh? Like weeds. So uh, you are always hire. Yeah. <laughs> I was hire. Uh, na bunduki. Aya. Eh. Yeah. Na bunduki. Na bunduki. Na yeye mnyo likuwa na pia. Sasa mimi me kuna time ni lipatio ni kaya. Eh. Yeah. Ifiche kwa. Sasa pengine muri libi na mimi skujua. <laughs> Telling you my name is Asad Yusuf. Uh -huh. And I've been brought up in a Muslim family. Uh -huh. A family of nine. Uh -huh. I am the second last born uh -huh. in that family. Uh -huh. And before uh -huh. I knew Jesus. Uh -huh. I used to be a Muslim, as I said, mm -hmm. but uh, practicing Islam for us it was mandatory. Okay. So we were taken to madrasa mm -hmm. when we were small, mm -hmm. but my heart, to some point, didn't like the Islam. Islam. Okay. I never yeah. used to go to yeah. the mosque. The mosque. Okay. But so uh, you didn't go to the madrasas? I went to the madrasas. Oh, okay, because for, you were young by then. Yeah, when I was young, uh, and, and even, it was a mandatory. Even even when I was taking drugs, I used to go to the mosque. Okay. Even fasting, I used to fast when mm. it was time for Ramadan. Mm. And I used to go for Friday prayers in the mosque. Okay. But since I was taking drugs, mm. it reached a point that I never used to uh, to indulge in the mosque activities so much. Okay. But one thing I discovered mm. is that even after I was going to the mosque mm. to take, take refuge from there, mm. I, I never used to quit the drugs. Okay. There, is a, there was a pattern. Okay. I used to get out, then I come back, yeah. maybe after one month, two months, three mm. months. Okay, so now, uh, before we continue, let me show people where we are. Now we are uh, in a place called uh, Kibigori in Chemilin. This is a sugar belt zone. It is in Nyanza. It is between Nyanza and uh, Nandi. It's Kisumu County and Nandi. So we came here for evangelism. There's a mission. And this mission we provide uh, um, free medical camp. There is crusade. There is door to door. What you are doing right now, as we I continue the interview here with my brother. And also we have... Uh, Jesus film, eh? Yes, Jesus okay. film. So, let's continue. <laughs> okay. Mm. So, I was telling you, mm. the, my journey started when to I roll these mm. popo leaves. Uh, popo leaves, and eh? And smoke them. Okay. Uh, as weeds, as, like weeds, eh? Like weeds. Uh, okay. But now, mm. there is a time, there is someone who introduced us. Because there are some boys, the older boys mm. used to send us to. Yeah. Or they used to be in a place where they used to smoke. So okay. we used to go there and look at what mm. they were doing. My drug taking okay. started from the yeah. society, society that I was, had grown in. Okay. So then the society influenced you to influenced into, to me drugs, eh? into drugs. Okay. Okay. Now when I go to high school, mm. I started now indulging in friends who were already smoking and they knew what they are doing. Okay. That's when I was influenced now mm. to start even buying for myself. Mm -hmm. Taking money and getting it for myself. Did your parents know about this? No, they never knew. Nobody knew. I used to play very safe. Okay. Even at home, mm. people, I I used to play it like mm. people never noticed that I was doing it. Okay. But eventually, now when I was almost like in form four, yeah. now is when my I think my my sisters knew mm. about my my habit of taking drugs yeah. and my brothers. Mm. But so you are always hiding. Yeah, <laughs> I was hiding. Yeah. No one could have noticed. Okay. Because mostly I used to take uh, marijuana. Marijuana. Yes. I know marijuana. Yeah. I've tried. I know it. I've tried <laughs> when I was young. Okay. I, I even started smoking marijuana mm. at the same age as you. But I started when I was class eight. I did it, and nobody knew. But I remember there is an incident in yeah. Form 2. Mm. We used to have a house girl. Yeah. Now that house girl is the one who noticed. Because mm. one day, mm. I used to be someone who never ate so much. Okay. But she noticed that one day I yeah. came with a lot of appetite. Appetite, and you ate and a lot of food. Was it ugali or olumchene? <laughs> <laughs> ugali and everything. Everything, house. okay. House was realizing. Yeah. Yeah. This person doesn't uh, must eat have changed, so much, eh? uh, but now, mm. from today, he is mm. eating so much. Okay. Tuko kwenye chamba la chemi nilikaribu na kibigori center, 
na tumeamua kubadilisha mjadala kuwa Kiswahili kwa sababu mjadala huu unahusu vijana. Now tell me after marijuana mm. did you take any other hard stuff? Yes. Like which one? There's a time I tried to take a stuff called brown sugar. Uh -huh. And the uh, brown sugar is just like cocaine but uh -huh. the one that is corrupted. In okay. the cocaine number 2. Number 2. Eh. Yeah. Was it white or hiyo ni brown. Ni ile ile chafuka chafuka si ni ile pesa kidogo ilikuwa okay. inatoka 150. Yeah. But hiyo ni mtu tu alikuwa ame introduce but mm. sikusikia ikiwa sawa na mimi. Yeah. Yeah. So hata nilitumia tu kidogo then. Yeah. Ikakuwa. But hiyo pia nasikia inakuaga ina affect watu sana because addiction yeah. yake ni mbaya kuliko yeah. marijuana. Okay. But now Kenya niliingia tena after hapo sasa mm. that was in kiwa high school. Mm. Nikimalizia high school mm. nikaingia sasa kwa pombe. Yeah. Hapo yeah. ndo nilikuwa introduced kwa pombe. Uh -huh. So pombe nilianza na hizi ma, ma kali hizi uh -huh. ma zinaitwa gaje. Hizi masachet. Ma... Masachet hiyo uh -huh. time ilikuwa nzi ya masachet. Mm. Ilikuwa na nyingine inaitwa sapphire. Uh -huh. Kulikuwa na nyingine sijui popov lakini size zilikuwa za watu wa hali ya hali ya juu. Ya juu. Uh -huh. So kulikuwa na zile zinaitwa making so mm. to American. Mm. Na sijui gani tu 10 bob 10 bob. Za 10 bob eh. Eh. Yeah. So kulikuwa toa doa wapi pesa kulikuwa toa. Pesa saa unapata si nilikuwa day school. Uh -huh. Nikienda shule na pocket money na ficha. Na ficha. Pia shule nilikuwa nafanya tu Mm. Mi nilikuwa nafanya graph hizi kazi, kazi za kuchora. Oh. So nikienda naenda kwa matatu na uza sticker mm. na pewa 150. Mm. Naweka hiyo pesa na mm. najua hapa kuna sita kosa pesa yangu ya mauzo okay. mami ya darati. Mm. Na sasa kuna mali uliingilia ukawa mkora mkora hivi kupora watu nini? Mm. Eh, kuna kuna watu nilikutana nao hapo shule. Mm. Najifanya si ni wasanii. Mm. But kwa hiyo wasanii au kwa hivyo ulikuwa msanii kama mimi eh. eh au wasanii walikuwa si wasanii wasanii pia eh. kuna mambo tu ya ndani walikuwa wanajifanya sasa ile kigangster mm. sawa so, vijana wale tulikuwa nao walikuwa tuna, wanatoka Kaloleni Jeriko mm. so kuna to an extent kuna mm. wale walikuwa wanatembea na bunduki haya eh na bunduki na bunduki na wewe mwenyewe ulikuwa naye pia sasa mimi kuna time nilipatiwa nika nikaifiche kwa nyumba na hiyo kwanza ilikuwa ile sasa hao yenu eh kwetu nikaenda shule mm. kumbe baba yangu alikuja kaipata eh so okay. nikitoka shule naona amenikunjia sura na shindo ni nini kumbe aliipata na akai akai dispose akai dispose akaitupa sio alipea na wapi ama alifanya nini na eh hiyo ilikuwa gazile za kujitengenezea home made. Oh, zile home made eh. Yale komenda hiyo extend. So, hao vijana tulikuwa tukienda nao. Eh. Though mimi hati yangu iko huko sana, lakini sawa juu lazima utembe nao na ufiti ndani yao. Eh. Mnaenda wanafanya kisanga. Sasa wewe tu ni kutoro. Kutoroka. So, mimi usema ni Mungu pia alini. Eh. Alinisaidia juu. Kuna mmoja wetu hapo alikufa. Eh. Huyo mwingine mwenye alikuwa ring leader wetu pia alikufa. Watu walikufa? Eh. Na uka baki. Alikufa na si mimi nikabaki. Eh. Pia kuna wale pia walibaki na wali reform. Eh. Si wote tulikuja tuka reform. reform eh. So hiyo habit ya, ya wizi mimi mm. sikuwa naitamani sana. Mm. So pia mimi nikaanza kujitoa lakini saa after kwa hiyo wizi saa nikajipata ni mimi. Sasa hebu ni, nieleze kuna story unaweza niambia mlienda mkavunja nyumba gani ama mliibia nani? Kama kuna ama time. Ama hata pengine mliibia na mimi sikujua. Kumbuka <laughs> kuna time. Eh tulikuwa tumeenda hii interview tunafanyia mahali panaitwa Kibigori huku Cheminil kwenye mashamba ya miwa tulikuwa tunataka kwenda Carnival eh. na hiyo ilikuwa Saturday eh. so kuna jamaa alikuwa anaitwa Steve mm. alikuwa na mwili eh. Steve sasa yeye ndo tulikuwa tunamtumia eh. ku eh. ku yeye ndo alikuwa kushika watu tisa eh. juu ya mwili eh shita kushika watu ngeta ngeta eh. then mimi ngeta sasa niku, ngeta ni kushika mtu hivi eh. Eh, na mimi mbao. sasa nilikuwa kuna kambao naeka hapa hivi ndio eh. okay mimi yule nilikuwa na beba hiyo tulikuwa tunaita amari eh. mimi ni wa kubeba amari eh. na bag so ikifika hapo kwa scene eh. kuna huyu anaitwa deno eh. yeye alikuwa anaitoa mm. yeye anaenda anaekea mtu nyuma nyuma eh. so mtu akishaingiza baridi oh, stima na, anakuja na, na, na mwekea Real yeah. gun ama ni fake? Kulikuwa na real yeah. at one point yeah. na pia kulikuwa hiyo number 2. Mm. So size hizi gani mlikuwa mnatoa wapi? Kama hiyo real ilikuwa mm. ilitokaga huko sije huruma. Eh. Yeah. Uko madhare. Yeah. Zinanunuliwa tu. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Ndio na ndio moba ama ni size of time tuseme kitu kama 7k ama oh, 5k yeah. unapata. Eh. Yeah. Ana unapewa na bullet. Okay. 
But Bulet sasa, ngapi hivi? Sidani kama si tulikuwa nishawe. Bulet kama ngapi? Kama tano. Oh. Sasa ima ukweli hiyo time pia mi nilikuwa na uoga juu nilikuwa naona. Sasa hizi ni mambo gani pia mm. mi najiingiza. Mm. Na mi sijaleleo pia kwa vitu kama oh. hizo. But sasa mtaimi unambua juu ndio ufitini kwa hiyo click. Na oh. wale jana tulikuwa nao. Kila oh. mtu walikuwa na dunga. Na dunga. Kwa yeah. vaa smart. Na asia mm. tikuwa hivi kawaida. Mm. Tunavaa kama mavijana mahumi. Ok. So mtu hata waezi wa notice. Waezi wa notice. Ana aezi juu hati kuna ati mm. nini uwezi sasa wacha ni sasa tuko hapa na huyu jamaa huyu mm. jamaa unasikia story zake vile alikuwa yeah. alikuwa jamaa mdangerous sana eh mm. alikuwa anapiga watu ngeta alikuwa mm. na lakini sasa unajua tuko wapi tuko chemini hapa kwa mashamba ya chemini huko ni chemini eh huko ni chemini eh chemini wanalima eh, miwa mm. na kuna factory factory ya miwa hapa tumekuja hapa ili kueneza injili ya Yesu Kristo. Yaani jamaa amechange sasa yeye ni Mkristo. Amen. Ameokoka. Mm. Eh? Hebu tuende na hiyo story boss. So, mm. kwa hiyo story yote, mm. kuna time eh huyo Steve mm. alishika mtu ngaeta huyo mtu ni kama akashindwa kukumua. Kukumua eh, karibu a dead. Akajikunia. Eh, huyo so, jamaa kuogopa, eh. kukatorokaga. Eh. Na hapo hapo tu ni kama tulifuatwa na watu, si eh. kama ni wakina nani walitufuata. Alafu eh. sasa juu pia si hatu kuona guts ya ku kufiatua. Ya kufiatua juu eh. So si tukahepa. Mm. Tu anexent huyo hiyo bunduki orange, huo deno eh. mmoja akairusha. Akairusha kando. Kwa manyasi. Kwa manyasi eh. Hivyo ndo ili disappear. Ili endaga hiyo. Sasa tungairudia na mm. tulijaribu kuirudia tukakuja hapo tukapata tena. Ni shari, 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 kama watu walishaichukua. Eh. So mi nikaanza kutoka kwa hiyo click yao. Mm. But saa ile kutoka kwa hiyo click mm. pia ni ngumu juu. Ni kama watu mkishawaibia kuna zile laana umewaachia. Eh. So mi nilijipata na ingia kwa vitu za pombe. Ndio sikuwa eh. naelewa ni kwa nini na kwa eh. life yangu inaenda hivyo. Eh. Hata sisi mi peke yangu mm. au wote tulikuwa nao. Mm. Wali tulianza kuona tu kila mtu anaingia kwa addiction. Mm. Maisha yetu endi poa. Mm. Mi sana sana kwanza nilikuwa kwa addiction hadi nilikuwa nafanya kazi ya kuchora. Eh until singeza enda kuchora mahali job hey, tetemeka tu, eh hey. tulikuwa tunaita wainaina okay oh, wainaina unaina ina hivi <laughs> unaina ina sasa hivi kikui huko fanya hivi ni kuinaina hadi hey. kutetemeka <laughs> so hey. hiyo kutetemeka ilifanya singeweza kufanya hiyo kazi ya kuchora hey. so inabidi nifanye kazi zingine kama kuandikwa kwa club eh hey. kwa ba na ni eh. na nile kuosha kwa hiyo club eh kazi tu zenye hazina hivi tu eh yani kazi hata ziwezi kupatia yani eh. we mwenyewe ni kama umedharaulika umedharaulika kwa dunia eh eh to an extent sana nikakuwa na depression fulani lakini sikuwa naelewa ni depression hiyo eh so mimi nikaingilia kwa drug ingine nilikuwa eh. introduce na mtu eh nizi ma antidepressant lakini oh. sasa ukizitumia mingi eh. zinafanya unakuwa hai unakuwa hai sana eh. so kunikuwa na white na mm. zingine za yellow mm. watu zita matap tap okay. hiyo ndio lugha mta eh matap tap matap tap eh <laughs> matap tap eh. so nilikuwa gaju pia pombe nikikunya sisiki kama inanileweesha eh. so nikiingia ni nunueka ka, ka, kale ka one full kale ka, ka 150 ama ka 100 eh. na dilute kidogo eh. naeka matap tap ndani eh. So hiyo ndio ikunywa pole pole tu. <laughs> ni, ni get high. Yeah. Hata zilikuwa zinafanya unazuba, unaongea peke yako. Mtu yeah. anaweza kuja uulizwe na huyu kwani siku hizo amekuwazimu. One yeah. day kwa hizo kazi nilikuwa naandikwa, mm. nikafanyia jamaa mwingine kazi ya kuuza bangi. Okay. Na hiyo kazi ya kuuza bangi hapo yeah. ndio Mungu alikuja na akanitegea hapo. Mm. Nikakuja nikamuuzia bangi na alikuwa anauza vitu zingine hapo kando. Mm. So one day nilipigwa raid hapo. Eh kwa pigo red eh nakaa nikashika nikajipata nimepelekwa kotini milimani eh so milimani nika nikaulizwa mimi nikasema hizi vitu napewagwa eh si zangu so eh. jaja kaniambia enda sasa sasa hata nikuuliza swali mm. sasa ile ulikuwa unauza hizo vitu mm. Kuna mtu alikuwa anajua ulikuwa unajifanya aje yani mtu mbona watu wakuja unauza si alikuwa ameweka ka shop kanauza wine and spirit na kuambia na vitu zingine okay so kama hizo vitu alikuwa anaziweka kwa thermos eh. so kwa hiyo wine ukikuja unanunua pombe eh. unaekewa maji moto kwa hiyo thermos eh. lakini huku kando huku kando kuna hiyo ni feature hizo vitu eh. kwa hivyo ni, eh. ni thermos Laki, like maji moto lakini huko kando kando yeah, ya damo si na chupa ndani si mtu hawezi ona eh, yeye yeah, kwa vacuum yake vacuum yake so huko tuna feature hizo yeah. mambo zetu eh yeah. so hiyo siku ni kama ilikuwa set up because wale watu walikuja wakafungua tu thermos yeah. na wakafungua nyuma yeah. 
wakazitoa yeah. mimi nikajoa hii ni mtu ali yeah. ali set up hiyo yeah. shop yeah. so kanishika tukaenda huko kotini mm. kotini si nikaandikiwa sasa possession mm. of narcotics okay mwenye hiyo kazi yeye yeah. akazima simu yeah. aka disappear yeah. so ku disappear si akaniacha kwa hiyo 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 noma hiyo ngori eh mm. yeah. So mimi nikakuwa nikakuwa sasa juu sina option nyingine yeah. na pia final walikuwa wanaitisha ilikuwa karibu 800,000. Okay. Ilikuwa walianza na 1.5 million. Mm. Sasa nikiwa nimeenda 14 days. Mm. After 14 days wakaipunguza hadi mm. 800,000. Mm. So mimi nikasimbia watu wetu mm. msi amwezi toa hii pesa, amwezi mm. raise. Mm. Wacha nikae tu huko yeah. for 2 years. For 2 years. Two years. Hey! Yaani so, ulifunga wewe hivi uchai uchai kaa jela yeah. for two good years. Yeah. Two good. Na mimi nisha enda huko nimeshika tena ile ile ya kulandaranda. Naona ile randa ile usiku. Nikakaa huko two days. Wewe nilikaa yeah. nili, ilikuwa ni kama two years. Hiyo <laughs> ya kulandaranda hiyo yeah. kidogo. Ni kidogo. Eh. Yeah. Two years sasa unaona. Paka nikaanza nikaanza kuomba huko nikaanza nikaanza kuhubiria watu. <laughs> Siku moja kwa hiyo two years inakaa kama hata mwaka. Mwaka eh? Yeah. Mm. Na ujio saa hiyo time mimi sijaokoka yeah. nilikuwa muslim. Mm. So nikiingia jela mimi nilikuwa muslim. Ulikuwa muslim eh. So hata nikianza kuona huko jela kulikuwa na kitu moja. Yeah. Heshimu hesabu yeah. na kuheshimu maombi. Heshimu hesabu na uheshimu maombi. Yeah. <laughs> so hiyo heshimu hesabu na maombi. Maombi yeah. lazima ungekaa hata kama hautaki kusikiza hata kaizo za church. Mm. Unasikiza maombi yao watu wakiomba. Okay. So kwa hiyo kwa harakati ya kusikiza maombi, yeah. I think tu hapo ndio nilianza kujua jua vitu kidogo jua. Yeah. Yeah. Bible lakini si hati nilikubali. Yeah. Kwa hivyo hii kitu ya kwenda jela pia pia ni kama ilikusaidia kiasi. Hapo ndio nakwambia yeah. Mungu alikuwa amenitega hapo. Yeah. Alikuwa amejoa huyu turning point yake itaanzia yeah. hapo. Because one thing kabla nishiko nilikuwa addicted. Yeah. Na pombe, yeah. na hizo ma drugs. Mm. Sasa nikiingia jela hakuna pombe. Yeah. But bangi ilikuwa. Ilikuwa ya bangi ilikuwa. Bangi ya unge kosa huko ndani. Yeah. Yeah. Bangi hizo sigara. Yeah. Hizi hata tap tap hizo yeah. so, ningepata. Yeah. Yeah. Si zina ziko bangi na uzwa tu huko ndani. Yeah. So hiyo bangi nilikuwa navuta tu. Mm. Okay. But saa pombe mm. hapo ndio mm. ni addiction yangu tuseme ili toka. Mm. So kuna mm. mama yu ubiri hapo anaitwa Catherine Mwiga. Yeah. Uko jela. Mm. Yeye ndo alikujaga siku moja. Oh Mwiga huyu wa wa church yetu ama? Wa ka eh wa deliverance church. Huyu wa deliverance church. Yeah. Umoja tunaendaga neema mission, mission za, za prison. prison. Eh. Hey. Wewe ndo nilikuja nikamuona, mm. juu pia nilikuwa najua kijana wake. Mm. So nikamwambia, "Eh hey, mama Masharia." Mm. Wesi ni mama Masha? Masharia eh. Yeah. Akaniambia eh. Hey. Na akaniambia huu mtu anajua Masharia wangu, mm. anaweza kuwa ananijua. Eh. Yeah. So nikamwambia, akaniuliza wewe kwa nini utaki kuokoka? Nikamwambia hapana. Yeah. Yeah. Akaniambia wacha nikupige picha, mm. niende nitumie Masharia nimuulize kana anakujua. Anakujua. So aka confirm na Masharia, akamwambia eh, hey, akamwambia wewe namjua ni Yusuf. Eh. Yeah. So after hapo ikakuwa nika akaniuliza wewe unaweza taka nini basi nikamwambia wewe nilete bible. Mm. So akaniletea bible nyingine hapo nikaanza kuisoma gani. Sasa baada ya kusema nataka kuachiliwa ukasema nataka bible. Ju saa ngeni achilia hiyo kesi hey. kama ishafika kwa nyundo hey, ni hivyo hivyo sasa. Tu. Hey. Saa mimi vile niletea bible nikakuwa naweza isoma. Mm. Hapo ju saa niko na all the time. Okay. Nilikuwa nafanya shift yangu ya kazi ya jela usiku. Eh. Uko kitchen. Mm. So mchana niko na so, all the time. Wewe ulikuwa mpatiwa paka kitchen? Eh. Eh ndio maana umejenga hivi eh. Ah hii ya saa hii. Hii ni after. Hii ni hii ni after. Eh hey, boss umejenga jo. Hii ni after nishatoka jela, hey. nishaka kwa ukovu sasa. Eh. Hey. So hapo kitchen nikifanya kazi usiku mchana ninalala mm. then saa ikifika saa nane naweza kama aniamke nisome yes, neno mm. so nikakuwa lakini saa si, si hati nasoma hati ni understand nasoma mm. kama story book okay. sitaokoka yeah. so nikamaliza kifungo yangu hiyo mm. ya 2 years okay. so kumaliza yeah. ndio nika akaniuliza bado hujakubali nikamwambia yeah. yeye so kumaliza nikitoka jela nilikuwa yeah. na pesa yeah. juu kitchen tulikuwa tunauza chakula yeah. So hiyo pesa nilikuwa nayo mm. ilikuwa pesa mingi. Yeah. Almost karibu 90. 90 yeah, yeah, tulikuwa tuna kwa sasa. Unajua sikizo 90 ni domo yeah, yeah. kwa, kwa SIM card sasa hiyo. Yeah. So mimi nikitoka nilikuwa mm. nachuna pole pole kidogo kidogo na sasa hiyo hakuna mtu anajua. Yeah. Ni peke yangu ndio anajua niko na pesa. Na do, yeah. So nikienda home nikakuwa juu nimechukia marafiki wao kuwahi kuja kuniona. Mm. Sasa mimi naka peke yangu. Mm. Lakini kwa hiyo kuka peke yangu juu niko na kabitaness. Mm. Naimalizia kwa pombe. pombe. Nikarudia pombe tena. Eh. 
So hata siku maliza nilikunywa hiyo pombe for like 6 months. Eh. Yeah. Bila nilitoka jail. Mm. One day nikikunywa lakini juu size 6 months ikikunywaga nilikuwa nasikia hapana na mm. na nasikia nika kuna vitu zinani fight. Okay. Nikikunywa ile Bible mm. badala hata niende nisome Quran kwa nyumba. Mm. Najipata na soma ile Bible. Okay. Na nikianza kuisoma na toa machozi. Mm. Nalia naanza kujiuliza maswali, nalia mm. nalia. So one day nikisoma mm. nilikuwa nimekumbuka hiyo siku nilikuwa na mzinga ya ya, ya pombe inaitwa legend mm. nikaanza kujiambia eh hii ni maisha yangu yani ni kama nasikia nika nakufa mm. pombe imenifikisha mwisho mm. mwili yangu sisikii kiwa sawa okay so nika kufungua tu ile bible nisome mm. nikapata namba ya simu hapo mm. Si nikakumbuka hii namba inaweza kuwa tu ya mtu mmoja. Yeah. Ule Catherine Mwi. Catherine Mwi. Yeah. Nikapiga hiyo simu. Yeah. Kupiga sasa akaniambia hey, habari eh hey, huni nani nikamwambia ni Yusuf mm. tulikuwa na wewe inda. Mm. Akaniambia ona Yusuf mm. sema unataka mm. aje nikamwambia mimi nataka uniombe. Yeah. Akaniambia kuja kesho. Yeah. Alikuwa na anafanya huko kwa prisons. Okay. Nikuja kwa chapel ya huko. Mm. So nikaenda kesho yake huko. Mm. Kufika huko chapel. Mm. Ndiyo akaniambia leo sasa umekuja eh yeah. unataka aje nikamwambia tuombe akaniambia hapana yeah. ndio tuombe yeah. mimi nataka iku, kuomba itakusaidia peke mm. yake nataka ni kuintroduce kwa rafiki yangu mwingi mwingine sasa akaniambia hivyo nikamwambia basi tuende uni introduce kwa rafiki ya rafiki yangu ani kamuliza atanisaidia niache pombe kweli na hizi vitu zote yeah. akaniambia eh yeah. Sami nikajua tunaenda mahali ani introduce yeah. kwa rafiki yeah. sasa ndio akaniambia rafiki yangu anaitwa Yesu Oh yes. Sasa jamaa alikuwa anafikia anaenda sasa kwa jamaa flani. Office flani hivi. Flani kwa hizo office za huko prison labda atanisaidia. Nikamwambia basi sawa kama yenyewe huyu Yesu anaweza nisaidia niache hii pombe. When introduce kwake basi. Si ndio hiyo siku akaniambia basi tuombe. Tukaomba nikaomba akaniambia ni kuokoka sasa. Ni kuokoka sasa. Nikamwambia kama itanisaidia. Niko ready ku kwa kwa hiyo sasa huyu jamaa alishikwa akapele kwa jela aka serve 2 years akatoka huko imagine amerudi jela huko ndio ameokokea huko ndio anaokokea jela ili sadi akokokea church eh so ni muujiza ni muujiza eh so bila niliomba na yeye hapo akaniambia hiyo ombi la toba nikakubali nikaokoka hapo hapo na for a long time yeah. same like hata I'm um, almost 5 years yeah. sikuwa kwa nimekunywa chai yeah. akaniambia sasa si tunaweza kunywa chai, chai yeah. imagine nilikuwa na kiu yeah, ya chai, ya chai yeah. so nikaanza kushindwa na yeye hata sisikii kama hii chai nani mm. na joki tangu nikasikikiwa tamu yeah. tamu sana yeah. so from then from your time ukaendelea nika, kunywa chai nikaendelea kunywa chai yeah. Yesu ni wajabu. <laughs> na hapo ndio akaniambia sasa nataka kukuintroduce kwa hii kanisa inaitwa Deliverance Church. Eh, eh. Sasa ndio unaona tunakuja mission na nyinyi eh. from hiyo church. Ndio naona na nakumbuka ulikuja ulikuja Deliverance Church ukiwa na Madrid. Basi. Na eh. tukakubali tuka ukaanza kwenda mission na Madrid. Kwenda mission na Madrid. Na nakumbuka tulikuwa pamoja eh? Ni kweli. Eh. So hiyo time bado nilikuwa na transformiwa na Mungu pole pole. Si hata eh. unakumbuka sikuwa na hii mwili ni. Hauko hauko alikuwa jamaa muslimu. Kasura kaliwa kamechapa. Lakini sasa wana vile jamaa yuko sasa. Eh, eh hata kismail. <laughs> Adi mashavu. Mashavu, ya yes, yeah. mashavu hata hata mwili na chua na tiki. Kwa kuhu jamaa mse. Yeah. Yeah. Sasa, yeah. uko Deliverance Church ndo nimejua, nimeenda klasi ya discipleship, yeah. nikasoma, nikaanza kukaa kwa okovu. Yeah. For one, one year, mm. Watu wengi waku kwa kia, wakia amini kama ni meokoka. Hata, yeah. hata familia yangu. Yeah. Hata sister yangu mwingine ya nakuwa ga meokoka. Mm. Alikuwa na doubt doubt akisema ah wewe tunajua yeah. ni zile mambo zako yeah, za kitabu. Zile stories zako za, za zamani yeah. za tene. So yeah. Yeah. one year nikaendelea until sasa watu wakaanza ku accept. Wakaanza yeah. kuona yenyewe yeah. eh hey, mtu this time ameamua yeah. kweli. Sasa na vile sasa umeokoka hivi. Mm. Unaweza niambia faida umepata? Sasa hivi uko na wife. Mimi niko na wife. Ako na wife? Niko na mtoto. Ako na mtui. Eh? Eh. Yeah. 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 Na bado yeah. kuna vile mimi yeah. sasa hivi as a born again Christian, yeah. apo pali naishi, mm. pali ito Pewa Street. Pewa Street, yeah. So Pewa Street, kuna kitu mungu wali niyekandani yangu na ito Uduma. Yeah. 
muenda ku reach out kwa wale watu nilikuwa na kunywa nao nao kitambo eh na so far kuna watu hata wife yangu eh. alitoka huko Pewa Street alikuwa huko Pewa Street eh, eh. Alitoka huko Pewa Street. Na sasa hizi ameokoka. Na ameokoka. Eh. Na pia ufanya huduma na mimi. Okay. Eh. Sana jua siku moja utakuja na eco vision. Siku moja atakuja hapa kwa hicho. Na jua ni msupu eh. eh. <laughs> <laughs> Muone kumbe Yesu eh. anabadilishaka eh. watu kutoka hapa eh. pale walikuwa kwa walikuwa kitambo, kwa kitambo. Na anawafanya wanakuwa watu wa maana. Eh. So hiyo huduma imebless watu wengi hata kuna wazazi wakiniona hiyo mtaa wanasema wanasema wanakupatia heshima fulani, eh, fulani yeah. because ya Kenya unafanya kama kuna ule dota wake aliyokoka mm. pia hapo mm. aka, aka aki, nikienda kwa wake na treatiwa na heshima eh. yani anaona huyo mtu anaweza toka huko kwa hiyo kwa hiyo ni kwa hiyo kwa hizo vitu za drugs na tena akuja kwa mtu wa maana hata atoe dota wangu pia amsaidie yeah. kutoka hapo eh. juu si hati mimi ndio naokoa ni Yesu mpaka sasa hii tuko wapi sasa tuko Chemili panaitwa Chemase Chemase tunafanya mission hiyo mission, yeah. mission ni inaitwa ya evangelism As evangelism church tunaita ORN yani operation road nyumbani operation road nyumbani yani rudi mashabani waende kuhubiri injili kuleta hiyo injili yeah. so kumaanisha Mungu alikuwa amejua hiyo mm. njia yote hata kunipitisha prison yeah. alijua huyu mtu yeah. one day nataka kumtumia yeah. afanye kazi yangu yeah. na kitu moja mimi nilikamkua understand yeah. hata vile niliokoka mm. nilikuwa na doubt nikiona labda nimetoka kwa islam mm ni ati ni pali ni kitu mbaya nimefanya nda, yeah. nda, watu wetu watanichukia but one thing nilikamku understand yeah. ni siku moja nilivisitiwa na holy spirit yeah. roho mtakatifu akashuka ndani yangu mm. so kushuka ndani yangu nikasikia pa wengine mm. nikaanza kuongea in tongues na after spirit, hapo ndo yeah. nikaanza kusikia sijaisikia feeling kama hii tena mm. sijaisikia kitu kama hiyo tena kwa maisha yangu mm. na hapo ndo nika confirm kuwa mm siko in the wrong place. Au kwa the wrong place. Hey. Sasa hizi jamii yako hata kama ni waislamu mm. mnasikizana. Tunasikizana. Wanaona faida yao ku change. Wanaona faida yangu ku change. Hata sasa hizi jamii hata de- deliverance church wa- wamekuamini. Yeah. Sasa hivi una- unaweza enda ene wewe umeenda 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 mission mingi sana. Mingi sana. Nilikuwa na wewe uiti. Yeah. Tumekuwa na wewe hapa sasa tumekuwa na wewe hapa chini. Tumekuwa Bumala. Bumala tumekuwa na wewe. Tushaenda Eldoret. Eldoret Moy University. Uh, Moy University. Tukaenda yeah. hata kule kulikuwa kunaitwa Kiritiri. Kiritiri tumeenda pamoja. Tumeenda mingi. Mingi sana yeah. tumeenda mingi sana. Na this time najua hata out of Kenya tunaenda. Amen. Eh, so nashukuru sana Saul. Mr. Yusuf yeah. umetoka from Yusuf to Joseph. Yaani ume change yeah. from Saul to Paul. To Paul. Eh, yeah. na, mm. hata kama ilikuwa through hard uh, hard life yeah. Mungu amekuchange sasa sasa hizo unaona una ben, unaona ile benefit. Naona benefit za. Zake. Naona Mungu intention yake ilikuwa mzuri. Mzuri. Hakukuwa anataka nipitie hiyo magumu ati ndio aniache tu nikufe. Mm. Kama singemkubali labda yeah. ndio nikufe. Sasa hiyo kwa ume dead. Jua yeah. wengine wali dead, si ndio? Wengi wame dead. Yeah. Hata hata hiyo pombe tu yeah. wachana hata na zile mabunduki. Wengi yeah. wame dead na hii pombe kwanza. Yake, na hizo yeah. miadarati. Yeah. So mimi usema Mungu alini yeah. linda yeah. kwa kwa sababu fla mm. sasa yeah. hao watu wako huku wenye mna watch yeah. na nyinyi mavijana yeah. na labda mjaokoka yeah. mimi naweza kuambia yeah. mtafute m- huyu mtu anaitwa Yesu, yesu yeah. vile mimi niliambwa na ule mama wacha mm. ni kuintroduce kwa rafiki yangu anaitwa Yesu huyo yesu, yeah. yesu nilikuja kuona ni rafiki siku na muona ndio lakini vile alinintroduce kwa yake okay. maisha yangu imebadilika kila kitu imebadilika na pia nikajua drugs hazinaga faida kwa maisha faida. yangu yeah. because one thing mm. zimeni cost a lot kwa life yangu yeah. nime lose mambo mingi kwa life yangu yeah. tuseme hata kama singekuwa natumia drugs yeah. na ile mimi vile nilipewa akili yangu ile mm. ningekuwa mbali sana in life yani kuliko vile niko hapa sasa eh. lakini kwa sababu ya drugs nika ku drugs nika ku drug, drug nyuma eh. so mimi naweza ambia watu yeah. wa choose to path mzuri yeah. na unijue kwa hii life ya god hakuna ga shortcut hakuna hata shortcut. kwa life yenyewe tu hakuna yeah, shortcut. shortcut so work for the life vizuri mambo yeah. yako itaenda sawa 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 asante sana nimeshukuru sana kwa hivyo next time najua tunamalizia hapo next time atatuambia next time nini? please like subscribe yeah. and share yeah. each Me, channel maja matata maja matata <laughs>